Mr. Ed here. Today is June 13th, 2020. I'm in Waldheim, Louisiana. Can you see what we got going on today? We got the bees up behind the, the boards right here, the batting boards right here. They've only been in here for six weeks, maybe a little bit less, but it's around that, a month and a half, two months at the most. I'm not expecting to find a lot of comb in there. I shot the flare already. The signature is only about that, that deep. So there's not a lot of comb. It's gonna be pretty new, should be pretty interesting. But we really have kind of like two jobs today here at this location. Because also at this location, I set a trap here and that trap caught bees right before these bees moved in. Right, oh no, it's right after these bees moved in, we caught another swarm on that trap. So today we're gonna to close that box up and bring that up to the person that who's gonna get, get it, which is Eileen. She, that's her box, so she gave me the box and I'll bring the bees over to her house. So in a couple hours, hours, by the grace of God, me and Charlie, he's behind the camera, we'll be out of here up at the Abbey and uh, having these girls get put in a very, very special box, which will be like the end part of the video where we, where, where we show you the box that was built specifically for these bees and for the Abbey. So I guess that's all I got for this. So let's go ahead and start wrangling. As you can tell, I've already got the line marked out where the studs are. And the comb, when I shot the flare, the comb looked like it would come down to about this level right here. But they're, they're right behind this right here. So it's just a matter of cutting the sheetrock out, pulling it down, vacuuming the bees, and getting the heck out of the Dodge here and setting them up at the Abbey. Let's cut some sheetrock. Well, the flare said that's how big it was, that big, and they were correct. We, we've got the, the windows opened up to the side, so our bees are going to be just going to the window. We closed the garage doors so we wouldn't have to chase bees outside and then re-vacuum once they came inside. So it would be pretty easy to vacuum out the window. It's not a really big colony, but man, this thing is loaded with honey capped honey. I don't see any brood at this point. It looks like there's four sections of comb, but that wall, it may go beyond that too. Um, it may be be behind this piece right here because there's empty space. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. So we're going to vacuum up and see what we got. Oof, it goes far back there. I don't know, I don't think, I think this has got to be a solid play. I don't think there's anything there, but it goes far back. All right, time to vacuum bees and cut some comb as well.
always, <laughs> it's always makes it difficult when you see this imaginative construction carpentry. There's a four inch wall on the outside, but then there's another four inch wall on the outside of the building as well. There is an opening between the studs here, as well as on this side, and this comb goes all the way to the top plate up here. And you can see that with that big piece that I pulled down previously. There's no way I can cut that, so I have to just pull it and kind of tear it off like that. But we've got almost all the comb out, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. There's still a bunch up in there, and there's a lot of bees. I'm, I'm just hoping that we don't have bees in either side of these joists as well. Because if it is, then I'm going to have to open up the sheetrock to look inside of there. And anyway, it can get, it can get kind of crazy. But with imaginative carpentry, that's what you get. Let's get back to vacuuming. At least there wasn't much of comb over here. Nope. <laughs> There's four more pieces of comb up in here. Gee whiz. All right. Maybe she ran over here. Now that comb that I've been pulling out of here goes beyond this, I don't know, this not a plate, it's it's a supporting beam for the garage. And it the comb went behind it where my hand is going up in here. And it it's actually above this right here. So I was sticking that 16 inch long knife all the way up to the top before it would bottom out. So that comb is probably dangling inside of there eight, nine inches below the actual floor upstairs. So what I'm gonna do right now, we pulled all the comb out. I can't do it. The, the, we had to open up the wall right here because I saw they started putting comb over here. I pulled three or four sections of comb out of here. And so I'm going to spray the honey robber in between the crack here, up in the side here, and up in the side here, because I want the bees to channel down and come out this way. And with any luck, we'll have the queen come out, because I haven't seen her yet. And we still got lots of bees on the window, but I haven't seen her in the window either. So let's go ahead and spray the honey robber, honey bandit, and see what happens. Not yet. I see you though. Don't miss her.
Got him. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe. Well, I can. Thank you, Jesus. I, I mean, it's just like with all the places for this queen to hide in that wall, she came out after he ran her out with the honey robber, and I just saw her underneath a big, big clump of bees. Well, actually, I didn't see her. I saw her big old butt shining like a light bulb. All right. We're going to finish vacuum up all these bees and close this thing up. Woo! Well, <laughs> the hive ain't here. We still got a bunch of bees flying around. I'm going to get do one more vacuum, but I'm going to be here tomorrow. I got to come back tomorrow and, and vacuum up some more because there's no way that I got them all. I know I see, I see bees, whether they're robber bees or whatever, they're outside the window. So I'll be back tomorrow to uh, get those. So right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to close up that swarm trap that's got the bees in it and then Char and I are going to head up to the to the abbey so all the bees get that heat to come out of there I can hear them but I can't see them it's that's all because they it's uh, packed up yeah they're all on the top. yeah why don't you take the top cover off so I can see them <laughs> can you believe this is a beehive <laughs> We had a guy, a local guy up here, he makes these things and he donated this um, to the abbot here. And so we're going to put the bees that Charlie and I just vacuumed up, we're going to put them into it. It's a pretty fancy box, but it's still just a bee box. He's got, he's, the way he did it, I don't understand the way he did it. I'm not real crazy about this way, but he, he's got the inner cover down here. So it makes it a little bit difficult to do this, but we're not going to be adding any more supers to this box right now, so it'll work for right now. Come springtime, though, I don't know if it's going to work. So we're going to go ahead and transfer our, our frames into this box right now. And we framed up five frames, and then we also added five more frames. This is one that we had, and they, they had frames that had honey on them. Because there's a lot of bees in here. All right, there's more honey here. Now, this is one that we framed up, obviously. Another one. Oh, no, don't go so fast. Another one. Now this one's not pretty, <laughs> but the bees will work it out. I was just piecing together the last piece of the comb in there. This one we did a pretty good job on. Nice. And this one we did another pretty good job on. <laughs> And this one we did an excellent job on. Oh, this is an old one. <laughs> and this is another, another one. And the last one. This one right here. All right, we have our frames load it up in the box <laughs> we're gonna put our queen we're gonna put her right on here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, when I open the box there's gonna be a cluster of bees on the lid of it I'll bounce that in here I'll turn the vacuum over bounce it of course I'll take the queen up at that point bounce it and my plan is that when I put the inner cover on she's just gonna sit right above the inner cover like that that's not gonna work yeah work. all right so let's go ahead and release these bees and there should be a nice cluster on here there you go look 
at the bees in here. Alright, so we're going to knock these bees down. Wow. I forgot about all that stuff on the back. I don't want this trash in there. That queen is right here. The bees might take off. They're coming back. I'm not going to dump anymore. I'm going to let the bees come out of this. In fact, I think I'm going to just... Actually, there's no more trash in there. It's all on the frames. The bees are going to get it worked out. I'll, ch I'll come back here on Monday, re release our queen. The bees will be here. She's stayed in there. We got all their comb. They'll figure out their orientation and they'll work it out. So Charlie, you got anything to say? I think today was a successful day. Me too. Yeah. Anything else to say? Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. Me and Charlie, we're out until the next video.